As you're all aware, last week, the government of Kenya made available resources to the special, um, uh, to, the, to the Ministry of ASAL to make sure that adequate food is available. Already 2.4 billion shillings have been made available to buy food and to make sure that that food is delivered where it is most needed. Adequate resources will be required, and that is why this team is now working on numbers so that we can mobilize the resources necessary to make sure that we attend to the roads that have been washed away, provide alternative um, roads and pathways to different parts of, uh, of the country, to make sure that we deliver medicine to different parts of the country, and to ensure that no part of Kenya is left in the dark by making sure that we deliver fuel. Let me also say that uh, I have instructed KDF to provide their air service facilities to airlift any commodities required in different parts of Kenya, and especially the last mile deliveries in the counties that are now marooned by floods. I have received the assurance of our CDF that that will be rolled out immediately. We are also going to mobilize the National Youth Service and the Engineering Department at KDF. And we have also agreed with the Ministry of Roads that all the road contractors in the different parts of Kenya will now be mobilized to provide emergency intervention uh, services to make sure that roads are opened in different parts of Kenya. And we are going to mobilize the resources necessary to make sure that contractors on the ground in different parts of Kenya are mobilized for emergency intervention activities. Additionally, the Ministry of Health, working with the Council of Governors and Red Cross, will be mobilized to provide medicine commodities for water treatment, for uh, disease uh, management, be it uh, cholera, uh, malaria, and all the others that will be assessed as requirements in different parts of Kenya. The Minister for Health, who is here, has been tasked to provide leadership with the different agencies working in collaboration with the Council of Governors to make sure that health commodities are available in different parts of the country. The lead agency in making sure that all the roads, especially the trunk roads around Kenya, Kenha will provide leadership and the Ministry of uh, Transport and Roads will make sure that sufficient resources, human, machine, and money is available to make sure that that process is undertaken. The Ministry of Water will also work with the Council of Governors to make sure that where water infrastructure has been submerged to ensure that there is water for drinking and for use so that we avoid the now emerging cases of cholera in some parts and malaria in other parts and diarrhea in other parts of Kenya. We want to make sure that this situation is managed, and as a result, the emergency situation has uh, necessitated Cabinet to meet on Monday as a first thing so that we can receive the reports from this multi-agency team, process those reports, and provide intervention mechanisms to make sure that we manage this uh, situation. The Ministry of Energy has been asked to liaise with the counties to make sure that as our dams fill up, citizens are informed across, uh, especially in the areas that we could have overflow of dams so that citizens are relocated early 
we're informed that uh, within the next one week, some of our dams will be full, and therefore there will be need for information to be made available to citizens so that if there will be need for, to um, relocate some citizens from the downstream, that should happen ahead of time. The provincial administration has been tasked to make sure that citizens who are living in areas where there could be possibilities of mudslides are informed ahead of time, relocated ahead of time, so that we avoid unnecessary losses as we have seen in the past of citizens who have become victims of mudslides in Kenya. The information that we have is that rain is going to continue, Kenya is already soaked, and water will be...